What if I told you there was a way for you to completely replace your income from a 9 to 5 with social media without having a large following? What if I said that I personally know people making in excess of 50k per month providing a service to a super specific audience and they don't even have a thousand subscribers yet? And I know it sounds like an ad and you think I may be trying to sell you on some high ticket course around social media or give you a secret hack that nobody else knows, but that's not actually the case here. I don't want to sell you anything. I just wanted to give you a specific example on how this works and how you could achieve the same results using this simple formula. Okay, so today's video is going to be about my friend Usman. He has been on social media for just over a year, but I've only started helping him since the beginning of 2024. And at the time he had under 100 subscribers getting 30 to 50 views per video and was posting about things he found interesting. So if you look at the very start of his YouTube journey, you will see a few podcasts, things on how to increase your revenue, how to run a gym and so on. Barely getting any traction and very few people were interested in what he had to offer. Matter of fact, it's very similar to a lot of channels out there who are just not sure on what they want to talk about and what they actually want to do. And a lot of these channels will make many different videos that they think will do well because a lot of people have shown interest in them. So one minute the creator will make a video on how to make money online in 2024 and then the next video will be all about the five books that you need to read. And then the following video after that will be a vlog about a day in their life. This is what makes channels look like they're all over the place without having a clear focus on having the clear person that they want to help. I should know, I was in the exact same space myself back last year. One minute I was helping people around Amazon FBA and then the next minute I was giving side hustle ideas to teenagers looking to make extra money. Okay, so when I started working with him, the very first thing me and Usman had to figure out was the problem. What is the problem that he wants to solve for his viewers? And given his background in sales, having been a sales manager for Virgin Active for over 10 years and worked with hundreds of sales professionals, we decided that the problem he's going to solve is going to be sales related. In his opinion, there are tons of businesses here in the UK losing hundreds of thousands of pounds because they either don't have an effective sales team, they haven't built a sales team at all, or they just don't know how to train them up properly. And for those of you that know anything about business will understand how important sales team to a company actually is. I mean, let's be honest, if they are not bringing in customers through the door, the business is finished no matter how good your marketing is. Matter of fact, one would argue that sales department is the most important part of any business. So see what I did there? We identified a clear problem, but with so many years of working in a sales environment, Usman had the skills, the knowledge, and the credibility to actually help. And this is what may be missing in your social media journey right now. What problem do you want to help your audience solve? What could you do 50 videos about and speak not just from theory, but based from your own experience too? What do you think you could create that a viewer will genuinely find really helpful and come back to watch another one of your videos? And this is where I see a lot of people going wrong. They don't take the time to just sit down and think about what experience they have that others would find really useful. It may not even be from a job or their past experience. It may be some sort of transformation that you've had to overcome that you can now help others achieve too. And this is where I think the good old saying of a focused tool will go a lot further than a confused genius really applies. If you are serious about making a full-time income, you need to find out what is the problem that you're going to try and help your viewers solve. Next up, we have to find out exactly who the target avatar is going to be. See, figuring out who it is you're going to speak to is super important. And the more specific you are, the better. So, are they male or female? What is their age? What country are they from? What are their interests? What are they trying to achieve? What do they even do for work? Write all of these things down and you can have a clear picture on who it is you're talking to in each and every single one of your videos. You can even give that person a name, say Jeff. And in every one of your videos, you are speaking to Jeff and he needs your help. And the reason why being specific is so important is because the delivery of your message will be very different depending on who it is you're trying to reach. So in Usman's example, he could have spoken to many different people. He could have spoken to students who are looking to get into sales. He could have tried to reach out to sales professionals looking to improve on their skills and make more money. Hell, now that I think about it, pretty much any customer facing job has an element of sales in it. However, see who he decided was to go for business owners who want to make more money, but just don't have the experience or time to build out their own sales teams. 
Most of them will be based in the UK and are currently making up to 100k per month but seem to be hitting a glass ceiling. And the reason for that is because they don't have an effective sales team that will be managed and kept accountable. See, these business owners know they could be making a lot more money, but because of this massive problem, they feel stuck. And no matter how much money they spend on improving the product or how much money they spend on advertising, nothing really changes. See how specific I am on who we're trying to target? Can you see how a sales video to a student looking for to get into sales will be very different to a business owner looking to build out his own sales team? Now, you may be asking, why did we choose that particular avatar? Three words, they pay better. By solving a bigger problem that will provide more value, you can charge more money. So a starting price for Usman services of coming in and building out a sales team for you will start at around 15,000 pounds. Now, I know you may be thinking this is crazy and way too much, but think about it. Put yourself into the business owner's shoes. Say you pay the 15,000 and Usman guarantees that he will double your revenue to 200K per month. Don't you think that's a good deal? I know I take it. And a lot of people have, and he actually constantly messages me closing another 15K deal. Right now, he was averaging around five to six new customers each month. That's five times 15, which is 75K. Yeah, that's 75K in revenue from a channel that doesn't even have a thousand subscribers. So the next thing we need to discuss is your offer. In other words, creating a product or a service that will provide genuine value to people. And based on your avatar, you should have a pretty good idea on where you want to go. Okay, so let's use Usman as an example and the options he could have gone with. Let's say he wanted to help out students work on their sales skills and land their first job in sales. Well, then a low ticket item such as a paid community with a sales expert would probably be best. I mean, think about it. These students don't have much money that they can spend on education, so they really want to get value at a low price. So in my opinion, something like a paid community would actually be a good idea. This is where a paid sales expert would provide advice and jump on a group coaching call each and every single month, and then maybe run a sales seminar at an additional cost every quarter to help out as many people as possible. And at a price of say 29 pounds per month, you really get a lot of value for what you pay for. I mean, come on, if that helps you land your first job and get your questions answered by an expert, I think it's money well spent. Now, what if Usman was targeting sales professionals who want to improve on their skills so they can make more money? Once again, think about the type of customer we're trying to attract. This time, the person already has a job so they can afford a higher ticket service and the value that we provide to them should make them more money. So in this case, maybe something like a course to fill in, any missing gaps in the customer's knowledge would be pretty good. And then a personal one-to-one -one mentorship would also work well. So Usman in this example would send the course to the customer for them to watch and then ask them to submit five to 10 sales calls that he could listen to and analyze and then jump on a call and help them get better. I mean, think about it once again, how much value would that potentially provide to a customer? Now, let's say they're making 3K a month and all of it is based on commission. And because of Usman's help, he now converts 50% more customers. Believe it or not, it's very possible with good training because there are so many salespeople out there that have no idea how to sell. That's an increase by one and a half thousand pounds of income each and every single month. And it's also a skill that you will have for life. How much would you charge if you were Usman? I'll let you decide. And then what could he be doing for 15,000 pounds to a business owners that would actually make sense for them to buy? Well, quite a few things actually. First of all, recruiting the sales team and given that he has experience in doing so for the last 10 years, the chances of Usman getting these customers a good sales team is much higher than them doing it themselves. On top of that, the typical recruitment firm will charge anything between 15 to 20% of an annual salary for one employee for their services. So if a junior person is making 20,000 per year, that's four grand that goes to the recruitment team each time they hire someone. Once the team is hired, the next thing he would do is train them up to a good level. Once again, something a business owner would never have knowledge to do so. And through loads of course material and listening on their sales calls, Usman would make sure that these guys are top tier, ready and motivated to make sales for the business owner. Can you even put a price on that? All I know is that sales trainers on this alone will charge thousands if not tens of thousands to get it done. And on top of that, Usman will also train up the business owners themselves on everything that he knows, so if anyone ever decides to leave, he can bring in someone themselves and train him up. Think about it, all of that for 15,000 pounds. 
15,000 pounds for something that could literally transform your business and double your revenue in a very short period of time. So having heard about everything I just said, let's get back to you. I am sure you want to get similar results and I really hope you understand that there are a lot closer than you think. First, you have to think about what are you good at? What transformation have you experienced? What problem can you help people with? Then figure out who is it that you're going to speak to on your social media. Forget about the number of views you're going to get. Focus on being as specific to that person as possible. And then last, figure out the product that fits your target audience and provides them with a massive amount of value in comparison to what you charge. So with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.